PvP, player versus player. It's been neglected quite a lot in recent years, and people forget that it's what shaped the game we play today. It's crystal clear that Jagex care very, very little about PvP. I appreciate over recent times they have been taking a little bit more interest in it with the release of Last Man Standing, Bounty Hunter 2 and the Wilderness Test. But that's not the point. Last Man Standing? Mod Rock? Made in his spare time. This was the team that developed Twisted League. When Twisted League came out, I guess you could say you knew it was coming out. With Bounty Hunter 2, I genuinely found out on the day that it was coming out. I didn't even know it was coming out. Let's just say it didn't really live up to expectations after a two year wait. Again, lack of rewards. The only unique reward was to change the color of your special attack. The challenges? I mean, it's a good concept, but taking off your leg armor doesn't really add much variety to PKing. But what I'm about to show you and demonstrate today is game damaging. The neglection of Bounty Hunter 2 and not enforcing rules. This is what's going on in Bounty Hunter. What you are witnessing here is hundreds of people making millions of gold per hour exploiting the new point system inside Bounty Hunter 2. However, these people aren't actually doing anything wrong. They aren't banned for it. There's no rules enforced. Jagex are doing nothing about this. Am I allowed to wait until I get my friend as a Bounty Hunter target then kill him for points? You're allowed to kill your target even if it's your friend, yes. BH is unplayable, so many boosters, this should be exploitation and be bannable. Thanks for the advice about the rules, I'd be fine with that if the support team were available to enforce it meaningfully. Yeah, basically they just can't be bothered, I'm not blaming the mods, I don't know who it is, I think it's the people higher up. For some reason they just don't care about PvP. We've been sending the list to the Jagex Content Creator Discord over and over again, of like these guys that have got over a thousand kills and no action has been taken. Whilst I was at the Wilderness Ditch at the Mind Altar, I got speaking to someone who boosts points. He's been doing this with one account for two weeks and made 600 mil and not got banned for it. Nod Gambit, 745 kills. I was also sent a screenshot of someone with 11,555 points, which is equivalent to 220 mil in alkables alone. Furthermore, to make things even worse, you can actually do this on an Iron Man. I was sent this screenshot of a guy on a very, very low level hardcore Iron Man of just level 55, who now has over 15 mil in way less than a day. And that's just of one person. Like, just imagine how many Iron Men are exploiting this for hundreds of mil. Jagex have put in some restrictions. You must have played at least 48 hours before entering a bounty world. And you must be at least 50 combat in order to earn points. So of course it has slowed things down, but it's just not stopping anyone. All it's done is killed low level PK and in Bounty Hunter. Now it's time to demonstrate just how overpowered and stupid this is. There's the first account created. Second account, you thought I was done there, you thought wrong. Third account, okay, okay, I'm done now. Four accounts, and here's the boys. <laughs> right then, let's go to the Grand Exchange. All accounts have been bonded and been given the necessary equipment. First things first, let's get some prayer levels. Easy combats. You know what, I'm just going to bring them all noted. If some low level wants to kill me, then congrats. 43 prayer, 
8 combat. Now we've just got to do it for the other 3 accounts. And by the way, every account will always be logged in. Because you see this? I've got 48 hours to kill. Second one done. Third. And there's the fourth. I guess let's do waterfall quest on 4 accounts. This should be fun. Waterfall done on the first account. So now already 27 combat. Second, third and fourth the necessary gear has been bought for all the accounts i genuinely look like the biggest bot farm to ever exist i guess the plan now is to afk all four accounts until 50 combat looking for around 40 melees and 40 range eight hours later finally 50 combat with 40 range i've still got 40 hours to kill so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna splash because i only have to click like once every 20 minutes or something i guess i'll see you all in 40 hours 40 hours later we can finally access the bounty hunter world across all four accounts now this is where it gets interesting right it looks like i've actually made some friends with some portuguese guy maybe he's letting me get three points on him and I said that I'd let him kill me as well. And my task is to kill my target with no ring or amulet equipped. Free 13 points right off the bat. That's 260k. Made in one minute. And that's not even using my own accounts. So the plan is, I've got four accounts. Account A, B, C, and D. A is going to kill B. And C is going to kill D. Repeat. I just got to get myself as a target. I made a mistake not killing that guy in a hotspot. But it doesn't matter. We'll hop over to the other two accounts. We've got a brand new task. Could you target without any stat boosts? No problem. I've been targeted with this Rubino guy again. Off we go to the hotspot this time. Zone of more points. Correct. So the current hotspot is by the Curse Temple. Here we go. How many points are we going to get for completing the task and in a hotspot? 39 points. That's equivalent of 780k when I exchange the points. 780k on a level 50 for doing absolutely nothing. Only fair it's his turn to kill me now. Well, at least I'm getting paired up with Ronaldo. I can't believe he's actually doing this. You would think he has enough money from playing football that he could just afford bombs. So this task is going to target without protect item. How many points? 39 once again. 45 minute mark and I still can't get myself as a target. This is crazy. How many people are doing this? It is a miracle, finally, after almost an hour. Another 780k to the bank. So as you know, the plan was meant to be that A kills B and C kills D. But at this point, due to it taking so long to find a target, I've just got every single account logged in just to try to get any account as a target. What I should have done in those 48 hours though was just AFK sand crabs and get a higher combat level because everyone doing this is level 50. The tasks are all completely brain dead. Don't use a special attack, easy as it gets. Another 780k to the bank. This is a lot better, probably only 10 minutes later. I got myself as a target again. You know the deal, 39 more points. The only thing I'm not getting is the streak points. As you can see, my streak is only one. Deal at least 150 damage using range before killing your target. Easy money. I want to get to 10 kills because once you get to 10 kills, you get 25 bonus points. And it just keeps on going up with a 50 if you get 50. Another task two minutes later. Okay, yeah, you get the gist now. Let's see how much GP per hour we can make. Here's the broken thing about Bounty Hunter. It is impossible for me to die. No one can PJ me because I'm just hitting my target. And when running back, I have immunity. <laughs> this is so dumb. And there it is, 10 kills on one of the accounts. That's 64 points. That's 1.3 mil for God's sake. <laughs> And that is the four hour mark. The best thing to buy right now, I'm pretty sure is actually Mystic Hats. So I get two per point, which is about 25K. And I got 282 points on this account. So that's 564 Mystic Hats. In fact, I'm gonna buy some bounty crates. Just open all these up. So that's all the points spent on this account. Next account has 329 points. This is actually dumb. My God tier 5 that's 1.2 mil all the points spent on the third count now for the last one how many we got on this one another 195 so you're telling me i made 27.5 mil in four hours oh my god that is way more than I thought. That's almost 7 mil an hour on four accounts. Can you imagine, people?
running full-on farms and not to mention you can even do this on an iron man and jagex are just ignoring this and again it just shows the lack of effort gone into pvp updates because you would you not think about this like there was a problem before with emblem boosting and it's now just got even worse like i said i do appreciate that jagex have been putting in a little bit more effort as of recently I still don't think they understand the importance of PvP to this game. We really don't require a massive team like Twisted League for PvP. We just want you to understand the importance and give it the respect it deserves. I mean, look at the success of Deadman Mode and PvP tournaments. Any sort of esport to do with PvP has so much potential and they just don't see it. I mean, look at the views that PvP still gets on YouTube with very minimal updates. And if things just continue the way they are, then you're gonna see more things like this. But in conclusion, we just care about the health and the longevity of the game. We're trying to help you.